Now we are going to measure the water sparks digital liquid flow meter. So we have made a small setup to fill up this 20 liter jar can and we are just going to use gravity. Considering this as your overhead tank or your main tank from here the pipeline is done and the water comes through this pipeline and fills the jar. This is our digital liquid flow meter and how it measures the water flow to fill up this jar can. And I am just going to reset the flow meter now. And this already we have filled one jar. So it's showing us 19, 9 milliliters. So just long press the reset button. Now it's reset. This is 20 liters jar and let's measure the jar. I'm just going to open this wall. Now just see how the measurement is going on. We have passed almost 18 liters, so just 2 liters to be left. Now I stopped the water sparks digital flow meter. And now finally the 20 liters filled in the jar. Now let's check the jar. See, some amount of empty space found in this 20 liters jar. It means it can fill another 60 milliliters of water in it. So the flow meter is showing the readings very accurately. Now, this time, we are going to fill a 20 liter jar using this motor pump. Now I switch on the motor and open the valve. Now the water is filling very faster, with help of a motor pump. Now just see how the measurement is going on. Just now see the flow meter speed. Now I'm going to switch off the motor now. And just it's in gravity, and now just you can see the speed of the flow meter now because it's just in gravity the speed is low. Finally, the 20 liters of water passed this flow meter and filled the jar. Just you see there, some water spilled out on the floor. Because an extra 233 milliliters of water crossed this flow meter and overflowed this jar. Thanks for watching the video.